Enemaeus finally is out in the real world. And you know, you know, he was completely under control and um, let's just say a, a very well behaved man within the boundaries of the Ludus. And now he's out. He's got no affiliations, and you get to see the wild animal that's actually in the man. I think he wants to kill just about everyone, including Ganicus. So, uh, like I said, you're going to see Animaeus completely change and become far more animalistic than you've ever seen him. Does he ever find out about the affair between his wife and Ganicus? Can you imagine what would happen if he did? <laughs> You're going to have to watch and see. Uh, is there anything that you can hint about the upcoming season that you're the most excited about? I think what's most exciting is that um, you, you get to bring storylines that we had in season one and the prequel. We actually bring them all back in together. So Ganicus does reappear. And we get to a conclusion of that whole storyline. So actually it gets bigger and bigger and bigger until we take on the Roman army. Yeah, the thing about that though is that uh, martial arts wouldn't be appropriate in uh, the Roman battle scene. So, kind of have to adapt what you do to make it more realistic to the time period. I think my character is just trying to live. <laughs> What's the most, the best interaction you have with another character on the show? Who's, who's the character that you interact with the most? Actually, what the interesting thing about this particular season is he starts off with no one. And then he gradually adopts the rebel army. So the, 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 the biggest storyline is him finally finding his way back to make friends. Um, Gannicus finally comes back into his life. So you'll see.